guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Nana. That's better. Welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie. And on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, she's back! I'm back. Yes, back from vacation. Happy to be here. Happy to have her. Thank you. So I'm gonna exit out now because I showed you guys my favorite vegan bowl recipe last week and I promised you that my mom was gonna show you hers this week. So without further ado, Mama McManus. Thank you. So I found this great recipe that takes uh, tofu and changes it into vegan feta. Super easy to make, the link is below, and I'm gonna take you through the steps on how to prepare that in order to make your Greek feta vegan bowl. So you wanna see how to, how to make this? Just keep watching. First step that you wanna do is to prep for the feta. What I did was I bought some extra firm tofu and wrapped it in a tea cloth to drain it so it pressed for about an hour. And then while that was happening, I prepared the marinade that the cut up tofu is going to be sitting in. So for the marinade, the first step is to use the juice of a full lemon. Next you need two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. The reason we're adding nutritional yeast is it adds a cheesy flavor to the marinade. Then add in a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. After that, add in one tablespoon of white miso. Two teaspoons of olive oil. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And then the last thing is a half teaspoon of salt. And then all you need to do is just mix it up with a fork until it's well blended. So once you've mixed your marinade, you want to take your tofu and, and cut it into cubes so it looks like feta. Then you'll add it into the marinade. Cover it and put it into the fridge for at least eight hours. So we had this marinade already pre-made from last night. So now I'm going to use this and start making up my bowl. So for my bowl, I'm going to use a number of ingredients. I'm chopped tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, some mixed greens, roasted red peppers, which you can buy in a jar, or if you want to, you can roast your red peppers yourself, but it's quite easy just to grab a jar of roasted red peppers. I love olives, so black olives. Some diced almonds, cilantro, cooked cool quinoa, and the feta cheese that I made up the last, the last night. So I'm gonna put it all together. So the sauce that we're using to dress the bowl is a glorious Greek style dressing. Completely vegan. Got this at the Metro grocery store and it's gonna be the topping for my vegan bowl. And it's all organic. So that's how you make my favorite Greek vegan bowl. It's extremely healthy, easy to make, and I hope that you enjoy it. Now I'm gonna get Allie to come back and have a little taste test because I know it's delicious. Oh, I had my Buddha bowl here to, <laughs> to compete with me. Compete. It looks beautiful. Thank you. So dig in. Ooh, ooh, lost an olive. They do run away. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the vegan feta too. The sauce, ooh. Tastes like feta. This tastes exactly like feta, but it's pretty dang close to feta. Okay. That's really good. Great. It's it tastes like a Greek bowl for sure with the olives and the and the Greek sauce. It was really great to find that vegan uh, 
Lori's Greek yeah, sauce. Yeah, that's All perfect. organic. All organic. Healthy. All your favorites. Mm -hmm. I put more olives in it because I like lots of olives. Mm -hmm. Good? Oh, really good, Mom. That was awesome. I definitely recommend you guys make this one and also try out the Buddha bowl that we made last week if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you like them and if you have any requests for us. We make new videos every single Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye, Bye guys. Okay. <laughs> you want to try this? It's really yummy. I did try it because I made it before, right? Mm -hmm. Delicious.